United States has invested some five billion dollars in Ukraine uh, since 1991, when it became an independent state again after the collapse of the Soviet Union, and that money has been spent on supporting the aspirations of the Ukrainian people to have a strong democratic government that represents their interests. As a result, destroyed cities, chaos, and the loss of life on both sides of the conflict. In our country, it's usual to blame everything on Russia. But what did President Volodymyr Zelensky do himself to prevent this horror? Firstly, he could have implemented the Minsk agreements. In September 2014, Russia, Ukraine, Germany, and France signed them. One of the critical conditions for peace was granting special status to Donbas. December 2019, a joint conference following the Normandy format meeting. It is necessary, of course, to extend the agreement term on the special status of certain regions of Donbas and ultimately make this norm permanent. Here comes the moment for Zelensky to repay debt, for wealth, for coming to power. Just look at it. He doesn't even hide his smirk during the speech of Russian President Vladimir Putin. Apparently, he already knew that the Minsk agreements were just a stream covering the preparations for a full-scale war between Ukraine and Russia. As for Russia and Donbas, they were deceived from the very beginning. Furthermore, both Zelensky and Petro Poroshenko were eager to join not only the European Union, but also NATO. And NATO Secretary General Jan Stoltenberg has been promising to accept Ukraine for many years. Of course, this irritates and angers Russia. Who wants to have a constant military threat at their doorstep? As an American, I wouldn't be happy either. For example, with Chinese military bases on the Mexican border. But Russia is different. Let's turn Ukraine against it, arm it to the teeth, and sit it in the bath. U.S. foreign policy expert James Jatras accurately assesses what is happening. Our policy, however, is to weaken and destroy Russia. Now, for that purpose, yes, we are interested in Ukraine. Ukraine is a club we can beat the Russians with. It has nothing to do with Ukraine, nothing to do with Ukrainians who are simply expendable people as far as these governments are concerned. But it seems like the authorities in Ukraine don't really care. Besides, President Zelensky and his team are adding fuel to the fire. I am initiating consultations in the framework of the Budapest Memorandum. If they aren't held again or their results don't guarantee security for our country, Ukraine will have every right to believe that the Budapest Memorandum is not working and all the package decisions of 1994 are being questioned. The Budapest Memorandum is an agreement under which Ukraine gave up nuclear weapons in exchange for security guarantees. In 1994, it was signed by Russia, the United States, Ukraine, and the United Kingdom. Ukraine had to agree because it didn't have the money to maintain a nuclear arsenal. And recent history has shown that the world is very lucky it turned out that way.